This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Hello and welcome to Horsin' Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center, joined today by Dr. Jason Grady. He is an assistant clinical professor here in equine reproduction and field service at Kansas State. So welcome, Dr. Grady. Thank you, Dr. Blevins. One thing that I think a lot of owners, they uh, need to know about, and, and one is reproduction of the mare, and more specifically, when they're pregnant, and when they need to be looking at their mare, or checking the mare, or how early could they check the mare to see if she's pregnant, and what would be the earliest, I guess, that they could check? Sure. Uh, you know, I think uh, pregnancy in the mare is an exciting time. We've spent the year maybe planning to see who we're going to breed to, uh, go through the process of breeding the mare, and then we have 11 months of anticipation potentially uh, to hopefully have a healthy live foal. Yeah. And so as far as uh, checking the mare, uh, the early stages of pregnancy seem to be the most critical time frame where we're looking at. Maybe in the first 30 days, we've seen that up to 10 to 15% of pregnancies are lost during that time frame. And hmm. majority of pregnancies that are lost are usually lost in the first trimester or the first 90 days. And so it's recommended that we check the mare um, sometime around 12 to 16 days after the mare is ovulated or after her last exposure to the stallion. Okay. And this allows us to, one, um, check to make sure that the mare is pregnant. And if she's not, then we can plan for her next heat cycle. And also, if she is pregnant, we can try to rule out the presence of twins. Hmm. And then, as, assuming we find a, a single pregnancy, just only one, one uh, pregnant vesicle at that time, then I recommend checking again about day 28 to day 30 of hmm. pregnancy. That allows us to make sure that the pregnancy is progressing normally, make sure the fetus is developing normally, uh, make sure we can develop a, or identify a uh, fetal heartbeat hmm. at that time frame. And then if we can check them again towards the end of that first trimester, 60 to 90 days, either just with rectal palpation or ultrasound, just confirm that we still have a pregnancy going into those second and third trimester. And I think that uh, when you're saying those, especially the early pregnancies, you're through ultrasound, I guess, is a lot of those earlier ones Very to true. really, really see that. Uh, and the ultrasound helps diagnose a, a lot of different things if there's issues, I imagine, sure. too, with pregnancy. Yeah. Uh, and with twins or what would be uh, something we'd be concerned with of twins and the horse because you know a lot of horse owners they hear about twins and how evil potentially it could be and why is that? Well I'm sure you've seen or you've heard the the success stories where people had a set of twins that have survived normally um, have mares carried to full term and had a healthy set of foals sometimes the clients didn't even know that the mare was pregnant with twins but that if uh, that's the exception to the rule and, and not the, the norm. Oftentimes, a uh, majority of mares will, if they are pregnant with twins, will lose one or both the pregnancies at, in the first 60 mm. days of pregnancy. Okay. If they make it past that time frame, maybe they'll go ahead and, and abort those foals at mm. around six to eight months. If they do carry on into that last trimester, usually those foals are gonna be born uh, premature, mm. maybe have some serious medical conditions, and so, Going back to what we talked about earlier, if we can check the mares early in those first 12 to 14 days post-breeding, uh, post-ovulation, maybe we can try to uh, minimize some of those risk, risk factors and try to help um, correct the, the problem if there are twins at that time. Right, okay, well I think that's all great information. I think if you ever have any questions about uh, equine reproduction, you can sure call and talk to Dr. Grady. Uh, or if uh, you have any other issues or questions you have, uh, just give us a call here at Kansas State Veterinary Health Center. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins with Horsin' Around, and we'll see you around. <music>